Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys. Today we're talking about spam. Or actually we're talking about best practices. But like I said in my last videos, YouTube and by extension the networks have had to crack down on people that do spammy things. Now 99 out of 100 people are not spam channels and most people don't do spammy things on purpose. Most of the time it's just an accident or you weren't aware of it. And that's what this series is. So for those of you that are watching this saying, hey, I'm not a spammer. We know that, we get that. That being said, you can go to spam.tm. That is a one of our websites that we built. Put your YouTube channel URL in the, in the, the whatever you call the search box and run a spam score on your channel. Not only are you gonna get a score like 1% or 2% or 4% like I got because I wasn't doing things right, but you're also gonna get a whole bunch of suggestions on how to improve your channel to A, not, you know, to avoid the spammy things and B, to follow best practices and put yourself in YouTube's good books. If you're in YouTube's good books, I don't have to tell you, you know what, YouTube will send you more views, you'll be search engine optimized a little better and you'll just get more love and more love means more money or more views or whatever you're in it for. I don't know, guys. So anyway, check that out, spam.tm. With that huge mouthful out of the way, like I said in the past, there are 38 indicators now that Freedom has found that could be related to spam practices. And one of them is the about page, in particular, your YouTube about page. If your YouTube about page, first off, is blank, you need to go ahead and change that quickly. And all you gotta do is go into Creator Studio, then go to view channel and then go to about. I'm pretty sure that's the technique. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to do, but sometimes it's hard to find if you don't know where to look for it. Go into your about page and here's what you need to do. Write up a piece about you. What is your YouTube channel? What type of videos do you do? Do you do gaming videos? Do you do let's plays? Do you do comedy, sketch comedy, anything and everything that you can think of that's relevant to you, that isn't keywordy spammy, Put it in there, there is no penalty for that. In fact, YouTube respects that because a lot of bad spam channels, when they start taking content and do copycat things and stuff like that, they don't bother filling out the about page because, well, whatever. So anyways, that is one indicator. The second indicator is also in the about page. And what you wanna do is you actually wanna put links to your Facebook, to your social media of any sort. If you've got a Facebook page for your gaming persona, Put it in there, slash big C, facebook.com slash big C, or you know, twitter.com slash whatever the hell your Twitter handle is. All of these things, Pinterest, Instagram, Instagram, if you're a white female between 18 and 40, for example. I don't know, I think that's a white girl social network, but I don't know, I got no proof. But joking aside, guys, put your links in there. Some of us may feel a natural reticence or hesitance to not post that in there because you're feeling like you're being self-promoting or you're marketing yourself, but guys, that's expected. If you post a YouTube video, YouTube and networks expect you to promote yourself. That's how people make it in this world. So go ahead and put those things in now. Now, if those things aren't in your about page, like I said, go stop this video and do it. The final piece of suggestion, or the final suggestion I have, is when you post a video in your description, and we'll talk about descriptions later, but one of the things a lot of people don't do is they don't post links to their social networking. Now, in the past, you've seen a lot of people post links to like Facebook, Twitter, and like 57 different social networks slash website stuff. That can be viewed as spammy. You know, there's only so much YouTube can take, but if you post a link to your Facebook account or to your Twitter handle or say, follow me on, on Pinterest or whatever the hell you're on, why would you be on Pinterest? I don't know, follow me on MySpace. There you go. But guys, joking aside, put that stuff in your descriptions. It helps, it makes, YouTube and networks realize that you are a legit channel. With that out of the way, guys, please go ahead, consider this advice, check out your channel URL on spam.tm, get a score, post it in the comments, let me know what you think about this. I'm gonna be back with some gaming info and a few ideas that I'm running with that Freedom is sort of thinking over and we're looking for some honest feedback of whether or not you wanna partake in it. So anyways, guys, and hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, call me a name, do what you do, Big C, back with some more stuff in a few minutes. Check it out. Bling.